Hello friends, so you would think that I would make my bed to make it look like I have my life together, but <laughs> we're just gonna roll with it. I just got my first pumpkin spice latte of the season. That is the most basic thing you will ever hear me say. So I haven't been uploading. I have been going to school. <laughs> Please cue the video of me telling my mom that I was dropping out. So yeah, that's been a whole thing. It's been really weird being around people. I've had plenty of awkward moments. If you guys want me to do like a school vlog, let me know and I will. Um, but I haven't been uploading. I kind of wanted to let all that like Mia shit um, die down and I just haven't thought of any good content. I do have some videos with my friend that I do need to edit and upload, but they're kind of really crazy. So I don't know if you guys are going to want all that. When we get together, we just... We have psychotic energy, and I don't know if I should bring it to the internet. So I was driving in my car. I just took a three-hour nap, you know, and um, I had an epiphany that I should make a video telling you guys how to get ready for dun 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 a dick appointment or a appointment or whatever the f you're into appointment. I'm gonna take you guys along with me, and I'm gonna get ready. It's currently 6 p.m. And I look like this. Let's get going. Let's start our day at 7 p.m. Real quick, shameless self-promo. I am going to be launching merch, but not really merch because it doesn't have my name on it. Follow this Instagram account. Go share it with your friends. Post it on your story. Tell everyone you know to follow because October 1st, it's coming, baby. Nobody wants a dehydrated Boys, if you're dehydrated, she's not going to want to gobble that shit. And, oh my god. <laughs> I swear, one day somebody is going to be ready to propose to me and they're going to find my YouTube channel and they're going to be like, on second thought, no. <laughs> the first step, now this is geared towards the ladies, but the first step is you're going to take a fucking shower. Like honestly, men, don't pop up at her house without your balls washed. <laughs> I'm gonna make no money off of this video. This is why you guys gotta go follow Internet Girlfriend Shop because I will make no money from this. Yeah, make sure that your balls are washed. Um, ladies, if you're into shaving your body hair like I am, I don't like any body hair on me. That answers all the emails about, are you shaved? Literally cover your entire body with shaving cream. Your whole fucking body, just head to toe like a fucking naked mole rat. And if you have a fresh shave, and they're gonna fill your legs and they're gonna be like, wow, you're so soft, okay? So I can't show you guys this part because I'm gonna be naked. If you wanna see that part, you gotta go to my other platforms. <laughs> Marketing genius. Okay, so now that you've sat in the shower for a little bit and thought about why you probably shouldn't go and fuck this person, it's time to get ready. I know I look crazy right now, but I'm just giving you guys the authentic experience. So now you're gonna do all of your self-care shit. You're gonna put nair on your asshole. You don't do that, honestly, it might burn. Going to do a face mask. You're going to put lotion on every crevice of your body. Whatever self-care routine that you have, just do it all. Make sure that you are the best version of yourself. Also, I just want to include, men probably aren't going all out. Like, they're probably just gonna, like, do nothing and, like, sit on the couch and play Fortnite. And then just like plop their dick out when you get there. Um, but you know, it's always nice to feel good about yourself. Now I usually do my makeup first before my hair. I'm not a f***ing sociopath. But I don't want to have my hair up this whole video. I don't think you guys want to look at me in that state. So I'm going to do my hair real quick. Honestly, like it really depends what kind of appointment you're going to. There's some basic laws, right? So like when it's new... Like, yeah, I guess you can get ready. Like, if you're going in the middle of the night, like, don't go all out because then they're going to think that you're weird. And, like, if you show up and you have, like, a full glam, like, hair curled at 2 a.m. just for them to fuck it up. But you can throw on some, like, mascara and, like, kind of do your hair just so that you're, like, initially hot, right? But if it's, like, you're going out with them and then you're going to fuck, like, go all out, baby. Like, make sure you look fine. Who cares? If your eyebrow is going to be on your forehead in a few hours, just go all out. I took the pink out of my hair and I'm kind of sad about it, but... Oh my god, look at this. 
but I need to tone it down and look like a little bit more natural for some videos I'm gonna film soon. Okay, so I was listening to Call Her Daddy like on my way here from getting Starbucks and I feel really played and I know like not every single person listens to that podcast so I'm just gonna share with you what I learned today. By the way, I'm gonna be looking in the mirror and it's kind of awkward but I can't help it. They asked him, how can you make sure that you're going to f a girl again? And he said that his method is before the girl comes over, he jacks off so that when they f he literally can't come. And then he makes her come, but then he doesn't. And the girl is like, oh, damn, like, I can't believe I didn't make him come. Like, I owe him. And honestly, honestly, I feel so betrayed right now because that's happened before. Like, <laughs> I feel so... <laughs> <laughs> bamboozled right now because I don't know if the guys I've been with are smart enough to think about it that way and think that it's like guaranteed for like me to sleep with them again but it definitely fucking works because then the girl is like oh my god like why didn't he come like what happened to me and they want to do it again they want to finish the job so they're like oh, no 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 it is now my mission in life to make this dude come therefore you get to fuck her again. I'm like, when I heard that laid out for me, I was like, God damn it. God damn it. So now I'm sharing it with you guys. Men, don't do it. Don't do it to us. Women, keep this in mind so they don't play you. If anyone has shit to say about the way I straighten my hair and do my makeup, just don't, just don't say it. I know I do everything weird and wrong. I didn't have a mom growing up. Another thing I want to talk about is the fact that I'm going to school now and I kind of like, I kind of want to save details about school, maybe for like a future video or maybe like whatever, but I want to tell you guys the story that happened today because I tweeted about it and I still feel awkward about it and it's one of those moments where the person that it happened with isn't going to f***ing remember, but I will. 30 years from now, I'll be laying in bed and I'll be jolted awake by this memory. What happened was I needed to go to the bookstore today at school return a book and this guy that like I sat next to the last few days um I was like hey do you know where the bookstore is at and he was like yeah I'll just walk you and so we were like talking whatever like he was nice and damn I hope he never finds this video I'm never gonna give him my social media so I doubt it so he walks me to the bookstore and then when we get there he's like okay yeah I think this is where you need to be and he says all right I'll see you next class and he looks at me and like I felt really awkward because I was like what's the proper goodbye like I I don't go to school like how do you say bye to people like I'm not gonna hug my classmate I'm not gonna shake his hand like do, do I get on my knee I'm just kidding um and so I'm like okay yeah it was nice I'll see you next class okay yeah it was nice what was nice Lydia Please tell tell me what the fuck was nice. <laughs> it, I meant to say it was nice talking to you, but I forgot how to speak and have social interaction. So this is why me going to school is good for me because maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'll be a functioning member of society soon enough. I got a hate comment that said that I have the personality of a wet paper bag and honestly, fuck you, but I agree. This camera angle, I need to stay on my tippy toes. Look at that shake. <laughs> I am currently using this foundation and it's not the best, but it's certainly not the worst. I literally cannot for the life of me find foundation that works for me or matches me or whatever. And so I'm just using this cheap one right now. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know because I've used like Lancome, I've used Too Faced, I've used Tarte, a bunch of them and they just do not work for me i cannot stop looking in the viewfinder why am i such a narcissist but yeah definitely let me know your recommendations so now you're gonna you know beat your face like i said before if you're showing up at 2 a.m you don't gotta don't go all out honestly if he's coming to your place i recommend getting hue lights and getting like the pink or like the blue setting like strip club lights because everyone knows that everyone looks better under strip club lights. So if you have them in your home, then there's a little life hack for you. My makeup techniques are not good at all. Like I 
do not recommend anything I do. Um, so definitely don't watch this thinking that you're gonna learn how to do your makeup. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like it's necessary to do this. I don't have a jawline. Truly wish I did, but whatever. I think when I'm 30, the fact that my face is so round might make me look a little younger, so that's fine. Also, 30 isn't even old. I just said it like I'm gonna be f***ing like deteriorating at 30. <laughs> Honestly, being in the adult industry has showed me that like you can be hot for as long as you fucking want. This is not a highlight brush, but <laughs> because I see girls all the time where I'm like, oh my god, she is so hot. I bet she's like 25 and someone's like, actually, she's 38. And I'm like, yes, bitch. What am I doing? Honestly, like I'm probably doing it even worse because I'm doing it in this camera. The richest, like hottest girls in the industry that I know are older than 30 so everyone that says like that your career is not gonna last very long your looks are gonna run out sweetie they have botox for a reason okay first of all second of all there's a fetish for older looking women like milf porn like things like that like what do you mean i know someone that's like 60 well i don't know her but i follow her she's like 65 and she does the damn thing and gets paid for it like anyone that tries to convince you that your career is just gonna randomly die one day because you're old is a hater your career will only randomly die if you forget how to market yourself and stop changing with the trends that's when your career will die your career dies when you give up okay so i'm basically done with my makeup i'm not gonna go all out definitely not gonna wear eyelashes because i don't want it stuck to my forehead oh my god every time that i think about wearing fake eyelashes when i you know do the thing uh i don't know if you guys know what like hookup hot shot is but it's this porn site and their brand is like after the scene they take a picture of the girl there's like a before picture and after picture and before she's like so cute like so done up like their outfits are bomb and then after the girls always have like an eyelash right here and an eyelash right here and just dripping with spit and i just imagine like that happening to me and i don't know if boys in real life are like with the shits like would they keep going if my eyelash is attached to their ball sack i don't know <laughs> god damn it <laughs> i need therapy <laughs> lashes look like spider legs you know in junior high when bitches would just go ham with the mascara and use like three different kinds that's what this mascara does to me but it's literally the only mascara that i have i don't hate it beauty influencer i got it in a boxycharm birch box i don't know which one i have both but god damn it Ugh. why does this happen to me why me <laughs> okay guys so i'm done with my hair and makeup do i look better did i glow up a little bit and now you need to pick your outfit so it depends what you're going for usually i'll just wear like a tank top and some booty shorts but i'm gonna find an actual outfit because i think i'm gonna go somewhere so i don't know what i'm gonna wear all my clothes are dirty the biggest tip ever is just find something that you feel sexy in. If you don't feel hot, you're not going to portray that energy. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you're wearing something that you feel uncomfortable in, you're not going to ride that shit into the sunset. You're going to be, like, curled up in a ball scared. Okay, so I found a shirt that I want to wear. It's kind of tight. I've never worn it before. And it really pushes me together. I don't have to wear a bra with it, so that's a win. And I'm ready to ride off into the sunset i think i'm going to show you guys my outfit in the full body mirror it's nothing special i literally have no clothes i say this as like my closet is overflowing but i have no clothes so now it's time to reflect and think do i really want to do this and you'll probably realize that you shouldn't and then you'll go through with it anyways so let's go into my room and show you guys this is what the aftermath looks like um literally none of my jeans fit me anymore so i need to go shopping because i tried on all of these and none of them fit so my nipples keep falling out of this shirt so i'm gonna have to be on nipple watch but this is what i decided to wear it's very average nothing crazy 
and I'm ready. I don't look like a gremlin anymore. Okay, so now that we're ready, I feel like I should send you guys off with some words of wisdom. So, number one, I mean, like, do you really have to put effort into getting ready for someone? And I guess, but not really because they're still going to want to hit anyways. Number two, if he's not satisfying you, like, you can get up and leave. Like, you can, like, stop and be like, you know what, I changed my mind I'm just gonna go home, my Uber's outside. Number three, if he's at your house, you can kick him out. If it's not good, it's not good. Why waste your time? And I mean, like, if it lasts less time than 15 minutes, then it really doesn't even count as a body. <laughs> There's this person in my life that always says, wow, you really are 21. And you know, when I say shit like this, I agree. Yeah, that's all guys. I hope that you enjoyed this mini vlog. I am my most ratchet, head-ass self after a nap. Hopefully I didn't scare you guys away. Make sure that you're subscribed, that you like. Comment below what you guys want to see. Follow Internet Girlfriend Shop. I will put the at right here. I'll put the description below. All of that good shit. Tell your friends and family because I'm gonna make a big fat zero cents from this video. So your guys' support on this really means a lot and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Make sure to drink water and get tested.